Hey, what's going on everybody? I just wanna do a quick video teaching you how to take a list and convert it to an array. Now, I looked up how to do this, you know, cause I'm not just like some brilliant guy who knows how to do everything. And there's various solutions, but unfortunately there's not, from what I found, and a simple solution such, as, <laughs> every time I say simple solution, I think of like the cleaning stuff. But in this situation, you can easily convert an array to a list but there's not the equivalent to take a list and convert it to an array. Kind of lame sauce, but whatever. We're gonna make our own sauce. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So my strategy, mm, pretty brute force. We're just going to iterate through the elements and add them to an array. So we're going to create an integer array. We'll call it grades. All grades dot size. Simple as that. Then we're going to use a for loop. We'll say int i is zero. We'll go until i is less than all grades dot size and we'll increment by one each time. Then we'll access grades index i, and we'll assign it the value all grades dot get index of i. And at the end, we should have grades being an array with these elements. So we'll do a sys out, and then we'll say arrays dot to string and pass in grades just to see the entire array. Run this and you can see that's exactly what we get. So that's my solution. Let me know if you guys have a better solution in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one.